Thank you very much, family. 谢谢大家，就我们的我亲爱的家人。And a big、uh, thank you to all who have been tuning in the last seven nights. 也谢谢呃过去七个晚上呢一起跟我们聚会在这个线上聚会的弟兄姐妹们。And a big thank you for allowing myself and my brother and colleague Reverend So Chai Kiong to bring the word of the Lord to you. 也感谢大家让我还有苏牧师我的同工能够一起的呃把神的话语与大家分享。Today marks an important milestone in our journey as Singaporeans. 今天晚上呢，是我们新加坡人的这一个属灵的旅程的一个重要的里程碑。Therefore, before I begin to share the message, allow me to dedicate and to thank,、um, first of all, Love Singapore, and then、uh, our dear brother Tom Has from Jerusalem. 那在分享信息的开头呢，我首先就要先表达我的感激。首先是向 Love Singapore 爱新加坡运动，另外呢就是向我的一个好朋友啊 ，Tom Hess 牧师。It was in and through Love Singapore, a time when myself, Pastor James Lee, Pastor So Chai Kiong, we were part of the Love Singapore leadership team, the first batch, 1995-2001, where we learned. Uh, how to love Singapore? 那真的是就是在我们一九九五年到二零零幺年，呃，我还有苏牧师，还有李克宏牧师，我们就是参与了整个爱新加坡运动的这个领导的团队。就在这一个过程当中，我们学习到如何的真正的去爱我们的新加坡。And I always be grateful.、Um, As the Lord had allowed Love Singapore to instill that love for Singapore in my heart. 那我真的是一直都很感恩，因为借着这样的一个服饰呢，神能够把这种这个负担放在我心中，教导我如何的爱我的国家。So thank you, Love Singapore. 所以呢，谢谢爱新加坡。Thank you for that impartation. 感谢你们所传递给我的。But I also need to thank my brother Tom Hess, who is the founder of the Jerusalem House of Prayer for All Nations,、um, for what he has done for me. 那我也要同时要感谢我的弟兄 Tom Hess 牧师，他是这个以色列耶路撒冷的呃、uh, 万国祷告殿的创办人。It was he who called me to be the gatekeeper of the Golden Gate. For ten full years, year after year, between 1998 and 2008. 那是他呃，就是呼召我，叫我呢能够在过去的十年的时间里面呢，就是成为金门的祷告网络的守望者。It was Brother Tom Hess who instilled within my heart the conviction and the importance of the strategic significance of being a gatekeeper. For the Golden Gate Nations. 那就是 Tom Hess 弟兄呢，牧师，他教导我，并且让我深深的感觉到那样的策略性、很战略性的一个地位呢，就是要如何的在这个东门这边成为一个门的守护者。Today, as I track my own life and my own journey with the Lord, I need to look back upon the many milestones that I've crossed. And I need to express gratitude to both Love Singapore and to the Jerusalem House of Prayer for All Nations. 那今天呢，当我回想我的这个属灵的历程的时候呢，我可以看到回想到我经过许多的重要的里程碑。那在这一个过程里面，真的需要感恩，就是像爱新加坡所传递给我的，还有呢，就是耶路撒冷万国祷告殿所传递给我的，献上我的感恩。Tonight being the last night, my time with you will be much shorter as we have many other ancillary matters to share with you. 那今天晚上呢，因为是我们的整个聚会特会的最后一场，那我们还有很多其他重要的事情要做，所以我分享的时间呢会简短一些。Since I've been speaking about milestones and about my own personal journey, allow me now to take a moment to share the milestone of our nation, Singapore. And track what God is saying to us at a time such as this. 那
既然我刚才一直提到我的属灵历程当中的一些里程碑，那让我呢也呃在借着这个机会跟大家分享新加坡我们这个国家的一些重点的里程碑。Singapore at fifty six in the year two thousand twenty one. 二零二一年，新加坡是庆祝了五十第呃五十六年了。When we look at the two digits, the number fifty six, they are just numbers. 我们看到这个数字五十六，就是很简单的两个一个数字嘛。We can allow these numbers to just pass us by. 我们能够就是看了之后也没关注到有什么特点的。Or to invite these numbers to come to us and to speak to us. 或者呢，我们就是邀请这个号数字来向我们说话。Two times we read in the Gospels of a time when Jesus was pretending as if he was walking in the opposite direction. 那在福音书我们有两回看到耶稣，他似乎没注意到任何的事情，他就是走向另外一个方向了。Once when he was walking on the water. 首先第一次呢，是他走在水面上的时候。The disciples thought that was a ghost. Ah,、uh, 门徒们当时还以为是鬼啊。But when Jesus announced that it was He, 但是耶稣说，哎，是是我。The Bible says that He was pretending to walk in the opposite direction. 圣经说他当时假装他是走另外相反的方向了。But He turned around only after the disciples invited Him to come on the boat. 但是呢，当那个门徒们说“请你上船”的时候呢，他才转过身来。The second time we see Jesus doing this is in Luke chapter twenty-four. 那另外一次，第二次呢，耶稣这样做呢，是在路加福音二十四章。When Jesus was walking on the road to Emmaus with the two disciples. 那当时呢，耶稣呢，他是跟那两个门徒呢，是走向以马士的这个村庄的时候。When they reached Emmaus, the town, their hometown. 那他们这门徒走到他们的家乡，就是以马士的时候 ，Luke tells us that Jesus pretended as if he was going on in the opposite direction. 路加告诉我们说呢，当时，呃，耶稣他走另外一个方向，就好像呢是，呃，他就是无无意间就走向另外一个方向了。And he only turned around when the two disciples invited him. It is late. Why didn't you come home and be with us? 那所以他什么时候转过身呢？是当这两个门徒说已经夜了，不如你就来到我们家，在这里休息吧。So after reading two such accounts in the Gospels， 所以我读了在福音书的这两个记载。I often wonder how many times Jesus has pretended to walk in the opposite direction, but waiting for me to call him, waiting for us to invite him。那我常常就是想呢。是不是不是有什么时候，有多少时候呢？耶稣似乎是走向一个相反的方向，然后他是在期待等候着我们来邀请他，就邀请他过来。So this year, as we have turned fifty-six as a nation， 所以今年是我们新加坡庆祝了五十六年的国庆了。We want to ask Jesus. We want to invite Jesus to come into Singapore. 我们要邀请耶稣。来到进入到新加坡 ，and as he turns around and starts walking in our direction， 然后呢，你看他转过身，然后走往我们这个方向走过来了。We ask him, so what does the numbers five six mean, Lord？ 那我们就问他了，问主啊，那五六这个数字是什么意思呢 ？Is this just a a number or is there a message for us？ 这是普通的一个数字，还是有一个信息是要给我们的 ？So let's look at the next PowerPoint. <coughs> Now, what I've done here is to put before you the book of Deuteronomy and the book of Joshua before you. 那这里我所呈现给你的呢，就是两卷书，就是《生命记》，还有呢《约书亚记》，我放在它封面放在两旁边。When we turn fifty-six this year, I prayed. I came before the Lord praying for Singapore. 那我们庆祝五十六年国庆的时候呢，我来到主面前，围着新加坡祷告。And when I asked him, so Lord, do you have a message for us? 然后我就求问神说，主啊，你对我们有任何的信息吗 ？This is what he showed me. 这是他给我
显明的。The book of Deuteronomy and the book of Joshua. 生命记和约书亚记。At first, it didn't make sense. 开头呢，我不明白他在说什么。But as the Spirit of the Lord began to bring the revelation, I understood. 然后呢，神的灵呢，渐渐的启示的时候呢，我就开始明白了。We understand nothing unless the Spirit of God gives us the revelation. 除非神的灵启示我们，不然的话，我们什么都不明白的。And then I understood the book of Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the Bible. 啊、ah, ，然后呢，我明白了，就是《生命记》是圣经的第五卷书。And the book of Joshua is the sixth book of the Bible. 然后《约书亚记》呢，是圣经的第六卷书。And with that, I began to receive the revelation gladly. 然后呢，我就很喜乐的领受了神所给我们的启示。That it is time for us to get out of Deuteronomy and to step into the book of Joshua. 现在就是我们要走出《生命记》，要进入《约书亚记》的时候了。Now the numbers five, six really came alive. 现在呢，五跟六呢，开始呢，有有活泼起来了。And brought much hope and reassurance within my own heart. 在我的心中呢，就给我这个盼望，而且是给我一个呃呃一个安慰。It is a time for us to cross over. 这个时候呢，是我们攀越的时候了。In the book of Deuteronomy, the people of God were outside the promised land. 在生命记，这神的百姓呢，他们仍然在呃应许之地以外。In the book of Joshua, the people were God were inside the promised land. 在约书亚记呢，神的百姓呢已经进入了应许地了。With the river Jordan separating them. 那是当时呢，只有约旦河呢是使他们分隔了。Which is why I call this the great crossover. 所以呢，我叫这个呢就是一个攀越的时刻。What we need to be mindful at this time is that. The ones who crossed the Jordan River in the book of Joshua was not the first generation; it was the second generation of God's people. 那我们要记得的一件很重要的事呢，是进入了就是过了约旦河进入应许地的，不是神的百姓的第一代，而是第二代的人啊。The first generation was invited to cross over, but they did not. 第一代其实神邀请他们。能够攀越进入应许地，但是他们却进不了。Two times this year, I heard our dear brother and sister from Taiwan, brother、uh, Andrew Chang and sister Vera, saying that Singapore was given an invitation once before, but they did not enter into their inheritance. Now God is giving them a second chance. 啊、uh, ，今年呢，两次有两回呢，我在台湾的。啊，弟兄跟姐妹，一位是张启明长老，然后另外呢就是 Dr. Vera， 他们他们说新加坡曾经也神曾经邀请新加坡啊、呃、进入应许，但是呢却没有新加坡却没接受。Their words um was like a bee sting in my heart。那他的他们这些这这样的话呢，真的是。好像刺透了我的心了。I felt I was stung by a bee. My heart was stung by a bee. 那我的感觉好像我的这颗心呢是被蜜蜂叮着了。Now I don't know if you ever been stung by a bee. 不晓得你有没有被蜜蜂叮了的那个经历呢 ？Growing up in a kampung called Jalan Kayu, I've been stung by bees, by hornets, by wasps so many times I can't remember. 那因为呢，我过去呢是在加兰卡尤的这个啊乡村成长嘛，所以呢，我被蜜蜂啦、黄蜂啦、各样的蜂都都叮过了好多回了。They stung me because I went after them. 那为什么我被叮呢？是因为呢，我去追他们嘛。So I know what the pain is like. 所以我知道呢，被蜜蜂叮着的时候的那种疼痛啊。Sometimes the pain lingers for days. 那有时候呢是要痛好几天的。So when I heard Brother Andrew Chang and Sister Vera May say that Singapore was given an invitation once, but they failed, they did not accept the invitation from the Lord. That was、uh, like a sting over my heart. 对，当我听到呢，张长老呢跟 Doctor Vera 说，新加坡其实已呃曾已经邀请我们过了，但是我们却接没接受。
这样的一个信息呢，真的是让我感受到，就像被蜜蜂叮着我的心了。But Taiwan wasn't the first to tell me that. 但是台湾不是第一个跟我讲这个话的人。In the year 2005, I was in Jerusalem, and a dear brother, many of you may know him,、uh, David Damien, was with us also in Jerusalem, and he said the same thing to me. 那在二零零五年的时候呢，另外一位弟兄呢，就是 David Damien 牧师，他也曾也讲跟我讲类似的话。David Damien is the leader of the homecoming. 那这个 David David 牧师呢，他是领导带领的这个啊，传回耶路撒冷，就是回家的这个运动。But I've known David for nearly thirty years now. 那我认识 David 啊，大概三十年了。I've been to his home. I know his family. 我去过他的家，我认识他的家人。And when he said something about Singapore, my years were all, my my I was all full of years, all years. 但是呢，当他向我提有关新加坡的事呢，我当时呢是很注意的在那边聆听了。Because this man has given has been given a mandate by God for nations. 因为呢，这个人物呢，神给他一个独特的命令呢，就是为列国来服侍列国的。And there in Jerusalem, he pulled me aside and he says, "George, I have something to say to you." 然后当时呢，在耶路撒冷，他。就跟我讲说 ，George， 我有一些事要跟你说的。That Singapore was given the invitation by God to cross over, but Singapore didn't. 新加坡，神曾经已经邀请我们呢，能够攀越过去，但是我们却没有做到。What really struck me was he said those words in the year 2005. 那他是在二零零五年跟我讲的，我觉得这个是很震撼性的。And 2005, unknown to David, was the 40th year of Singapore's nationhood. 1965-2005, 40 years. So, 2005, year, David 牧师他不晓得，但是其实那一年呢是新加坡四十年的国庆啊。And therefore, I took his words seriously. 所以呢，他当时讲的那番话呢，我很认真的来对待了。But I was part of that generation that did not cross. 但是呢，我是属于那一代，就是呢，没过去的那一代啊。I've come many times before the Lord, repented for my non-action, and asked God to give me a second chance. 那我很多次、三番几次的来到神面前悔改，赦免我没没服从、没有越过去，也求主给我第二次的机会。The God who gave David a second chance. 是那位给大卫王两第二次机会的神。Believe, I believe he's giving me a second chance, and us as Singaporeans a second chance to enter the promised land. 我相信呢，他给我第二个机会，他也给我们新加坡第二个机会，能够进入应许地。This is a moment that all of us as Singaporeans are facing. 那这个时刻是我们全新加坡每一个百姓呢都来面对的一个时刻了。当我们呢带踏着带着信心向前，向着我们的命定的这个方向前进的时候 ，That's what the promised land meant for the Israelites. 对以色列人来说呢，那个就是他们的应许地。It was a promised land because it was the place of their destiny. 是应许地呢，因为那一块土地是他们命定的土地。They needed to come and occupy that land in order to come into their God-given destiny. 他们必须要进入到那一块地，而且占领在那块地当中呢，才可以进入神所给他们的命定。So this time, as we venture to cross into the promised land, 那现在这一回呢，当我们尝试预备呢，要攀越进入过到这个应许地。In the year 2021, 在二零二一年了。From five to six, 五到六 ，fifty-six, 五十六。So this is that moment. 所以这个时刻了。And as we cross. So, when we cross, we need to be mindful that it is not Moses 
was leading us, but Joshua. 那我们要千万记得的是，不是摩西要带领我们过去，而是约书亚带过带领的。A great leader, Moses, did not, was not able to bring the people into the promised land. 何等伟大的领导，摩西却没办法，不能够把神的百姓带入应许地。He died on the other side of the promised land, just. Having a look at the promised land, and then he died, and God buried him there. Yeah, 他只呢就是在呃应许地的对岸，在山上，他只是稍微看到应许地，他在山上死了，而神也把他埋了。But only two men from out of his generation, Caleb and Joshua, were allowed to cross over into the promised land. 属于摩西的这一代的人，百百姓当中呢，只有两个人，一个就是加勒，另外一个就是约书亚。他们呢是有，他们能够进入到应许地了。By the grace of God, I pray that many of us who are part of the Maradeka generation, who were there、uh, when Singapore was given the first invitation, are now given an invitation the second time around for us to enter the Promised Land. 靠着神的恩典呢，我祷告我们这些属于立国一代的人呢，我们当时第一第一会第一次，当神邀请我们过到应许地没接受，但是现在呢，我的祷告是我们仍然能够领受这第二次的邀请，能够进入到这个啊、uh, 应许地了。But we need to be mindful the ones crossing over and occupying the land are is the new generation. 但是我们千万还要记得的是呢，要过去应许地的这一群人呢，是这新一代的人了。So it's not the Maradeka generation that will be able to bring Singapore into the fullness of a God-given destiny, but the next generation. 所以不是呢，我们这些立国一代的这一族类呢，能够能够带领进入应许地，而是我们的下一代要带领我们进入的。The generation that comes after the Maradeka generation, 就是立国一代后的那一代。So we need to remind ourselves time and time again that it is not Moses who is leading us this time, but Joshua. 所以我们千万要记得提醒我们自己，现在要过去，要攀越过去的领导不是摩西，而是约书亚。And as we are reminded that it is Joshua, let us remind ourselves yet once again that the name Joshua. Is simply the Old Testament name for Jesus in the New Testament. So, we know that we now understand that it is Moses who is leading us to the promised land. But the name of Jesus in Hebrew is Jesus. So, it is Jesus who is leading us to the promised land. If Jesus was born in the Old Testament instead of the New Testament, his name would have been called Joshua. So, if Jesus was born in the Old Testament instead of the New Testament, his name would have been Joshua. So therefore, you and I can believe that this time around, while it was Joshua and not Moses, this time around it is Jesus Himself who is leading us into our promised land. So we must remember, 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 那仔细的看你在在你的荧幕上的这个这些照片。God specifically instructed Joshua as to how he should enter the promised land. 那神很清楚的、很明确的告诉约书亚是要怎么进入应许地。To bring the ark of the covenant into the city of Jericho, by that he meant bring my presence into the city. 那是首先呢，是要把约柜呢抬进这个呃耶呃耶利哥，那就是说他的同在呢要进入到这个应许地的。What brought the walls down in the days of Joshua was not a person, a project, or a program, but the presence of God. 那所以当时呢，耶利哥城者倒塌呢，不是因着一个人，不是因着一个项目，不是因着任何的计划，而是因着神的同在。It's a timely reminder for us who are wanting to cross over and come into our God-given destiny that it is not a person, a program, or a project, 
that will bring about, bring us into our God-given destiny, but only the presence of God. 那所以呢，我们千万要记得的就是呢，是什么事情，什么什么什么条件呢，使到我们能够进入到应许地？绝对不是因为一个人，绝对不是因为任何的节目项目，绝绝对不是因为任何的大计划，而是因着神的同在，使我们能够进入到应许地。And God, in His grace and mercy, is doing just that for us in this hour. 神的恩典还有神的怜悯，他就是靠他就是在为我们在这个时刻要成就这件事了。Just like David failed the first time. By his grace, David succeeded the second time because he brought the presence of God into the city. 就像大卫王，他第一次他失败了，但是第二次他成功了，因着呢，他把神的同在呢带入到大卫的城里了。So this is our second chance. 所以这也是我们的第二个机会了。Like David, we are given a second chance. 就像大卫，我们也得着了第二个机会。And like David, by the grace of God, I believe this time we will succeed. 像大卫一样的，而且是靠着神的恩典，我深信我们会成功的。Because we have learned the hard way what it takes to transform a city. 因为呢，我们已经学过了功课呢，要如何的来转化城市啊。Not a person, not a project, not a program, but the presence of God only. 不是一个人。不是一个项目，不是一个计划，而是靠着神的同在。So with that, I want to invite you to come to the next PowerPoint slide. 然后我们接下来再继续的看下去。Now, what's really interesting about the story of Joshua is that when you are willing to do some research, it took Joshua seven years to get rid of the giants in the land. 那在约书亚记呢？呃，如果你仔细的读的时候，你会发现一个很重要的一个一一点呢，就是他用七年的时间把所有在那应许地当中的巨人全部赶走。Bible archaeologists and scholars say that Joshua entered the Promised Land in the year 1406 BC. 那这个一一公元前一四零六年，这一年呢是这个呃圣经学者。考古学家他们他们的呃推测，约书亚进入应许地的那一年。And the occupation of the promised land began the following year. 然后呢，就是开始占领这个应许地呢，是下一年开始的。Because it's BC, the numbers goes down. 所以因着是公元前呢，所以这个数字呢是啊、呃、越来越小的。So the occupation of the land began in 1405 BC. 所以一公元前一四零五年开始占领某一些的地方 ，and by one three nine eight BC thirteen ninety eight the job was done。公元前一三九八的时候呢，他就完全占领了应许地了。Interestingly, the next seven years are before us。那也就是对我们来说，我们前头的这七年也是一个重要的关键了。There is so much I can say about the next seven years, but Today is not that day. 那其实呢，去啊，接下七年我有很多的东西可以分享，但是今天不是那个分享的时候。But can we believe as the people of God in Singapore that as Joshua was led by Jesus into the promised land and in the course of the seven years the job was done, that by grace of God that God will give us the next seven years for us as God's people to occupy the land. 那所以就像约书亚。他凭着耶稣的带领，他在七年里面，他就完成了他的任务，完全占领了这个应许地。那我们一样的，可不可以靠着神的恩典，相信呢？耶稣基督在接下来的七年，也要带领我们完全完成，能够占领这应许地，占领新加坡的这块土地。And again, I want to underscore that by occupying the land, I do not mean a person, a program, or a project. 那我还是要强调这一点的，我不是说要靠着什么人，要靠着什么项目，或者靠着什么计划，然后才来赢得或者是占有这块土地。Like David, I learned that the hard way. 那就像大卫的，我是需要学功课才懂得。Like David, the second time by the grace of God, I have learned. 那就像大卫这样的，他第二次。
的成功，我就是我也靠靠着神的恩典，我也学习到了。Only the presence of God in the city has the power to transform the nation. 只有当神的同在在那城市里面的时候呢，才有那个能力来转化全国。And that's what I mean. That in the course of the next seven years, we enthrone Jesus as King over the land of Singapore. So this one, is, I said, we in the next seven years, we will enthrone Jesus as King over the land of Singapore. So this one, I said, we in the next seven years, we will enthrone Jesus as King over the land of Singapore. So this one, I said, we in the next seven years, we will enthrone Jesus as King over the land of Singapore. So this one, I said, we in the next seven years, we will enthrone Jesus as King over the land of Singapore. So this one, I said, we in the next seven years, 七个祷告的项目，我要呈现给大家的。Number one, the number of God's people to increase in the land. 第一点呢，就是神的百姓的人数在这一块地当中呢，要增要加添的。Number two, the number of God's people to increase in strategic places throughout the land. 第二呢，就是在这地，神的百姓的人数要在策略性的据点也要增加起来。By that I mean that God's people will be sitting on the top of the seven mountains. 那我的意思呢？这句话的意思就是让神的百姓呢，在那七座山头当中呢，坐在最高的位置。What God did with Joseph, what God did with Daniel in the Old Testament, that God will do that in our day, in our time, in our land. 那就像在旧约，神在约约瑟的身上所做的，在但以里所做的事情呢，在我们这个时代呢，愿神成就这样的事，在这个时代。That God's people will be elevated, God's people will be promoted to occupy strategic places over the seven mountains. 呀，所以神的百姓呢要被提升，神的百姓呢要被提升，然后呢，就在这些七个山头当中的。重要的角色就坐在最高的位置上。Now who's going to pray that prayer? 啊，由谁由由谁来祷告这个事项呢 ？That will have to be us. 那肯定是我们来祷告的。At SG two four seven， 就是在 SG 二四七的祷告。Look at prayer request number one. 那看一下第一个祷告的啊这个项目呢 ？It'll be right for local churches to pray that God will grow their church. 那当然，地方教会也的祷告，地方教会的人数增加，那个也没错嘛。And that's a right prayer. 这个是一个正确的祷告。Asking God to grow their local churches. 就是求神呢，使教会能够增长。But who's going to pray for the number of God's people to increase in the land of Singapore? 那由谁呢来祷告神的百姓在整块土地、新加坡这国土上面呢，人数能够增加？ Meaning not only one local church to grow, but all local churches to grow. 也就是说呢，不是一个地方教会要增长，而是每一个教会都要增长。So where are we going to take up that prayer? 所以我们要在哪里来做这样的祷告呢 ？May I welcome you to SG two four seven, His dwelling place. 让我邀请你来到 SG 二四七，就是神的居所。Prayer item number three. 第三个祷告事项。The number of giants occupying the land to be systematically brought down. 在这地的属灵的巨人的营垒呢，要系统化的被拆毁下来。Ah, this is not the time and the place for me to identify the giants occupying our land. 不是在这个时刻，不是在这个平台啊，我我没我不分享这些巨人他们所呃就占据的地方。There are one too many giants freely roaming our land. 那真的在我们这块土地上面呢，有太多个属灵的巨人呢，是自由的在当中运行的。I just name you one giant. 我只提一个巨人的名字。Molek. Sorry, what's that? His name Molek. M O L E K. Molek. Molek. Molek is the name of the god who demands child sacrifices. 那 Molek 的这个呢，是一个呃要求献婴孩为祭的一个啊、呃、一个呃神明。This god, this giant, is allowed to freely roam the land of Singapore. 这个神明，这个巨人呢，他在新加坡这块地上是自由在运行的。And he demands the lives of babies. 他所要他所要的呢，就是婴孩的生命。
before they are allowed to be born. 就是呢，诞生之前他就要把生命拿取走。This is a giant that must be brought down. 这个巨人呢，必须要被拆毁的。But this is not an agenda for a local church. 但是这个绝对不是一个一所地方教会的祷告的这个重点而已啊。This is an agenda for the body of Christ. 这个是整个整个教会的肢体的一个祷告项目来的。For the ecclesia. 是神的教会。And this is where we can do that in SG 247. 所以呢，在 SG 二四七呢，这是我们祷告的地方了。Prayer item number four. 第四个祷告点。The walls dividing us to be torn down. 那些呢，使我们人与人不合一的隔墙呢，要拆毁下来。It is interesting that in the days of Joshua, God was tearing the walls down, but in the days of Nehemiah. God was raising up the walls. 你看呢，很很很很有趣的一件事呢。约书亚记呢，写到这个城墙是拆毁的，但是在尼西米记呢，却是建立城墙的。We know don't need to know the difference. 那我们需要懂得分别分辨这两个。There are walls dividing us that must be torn down. 那些使人与人隔绝的墙呢，是需要被拆下来的。Something beautiful began in the days of Love Singapore. 在爱新加坡运动呢，我们开始了一个很美的一个一个活动。And based on Philippians chapter one and verse six, the God who starts will also finish it. 那按照菲利比书第一章第六节呢，神所开始的工作呢，他必定会完成的。We have come to that moment in time when we need to see unity at a higher level as a never never before. 那我们来到这个时刻，关键时刻，我们需要看到的是，我们必定会看到的是那种合一呢，要到一个程度是前所未有的合一程度了。A prayer item number five. 第五个祷告事项。The walls protecting us will have to be raised. 那个保护我们的城墙呢，必须要建立起来的。But two months ago, Malaysia took up 24/7 prayer. And they call their prayer firewall. 在两个月前，马来西亚也开始了他们的二四七的祷告。他们说，他们称的他们的祷告呢是火墙。And the term firewall is known in the computer world as something that prevents virus from coming in. 那所以在这个呃电脑界呢，这个火墙的意思呢，就是就是让不让外面的这个呃病毒呢，就是吸侵袭进来的。That's what I'm trying to communicate here. 那这个呢，也就是我所要沟通的重点。That we will need to raise up walls, a firewall, to prevent viruses from coming in. 我们需要建立的是像一个火墙一般的呢，是坚固的，是能够保护我们的，是不让啊、呃、外面的这个势力侵侵入的。But we need to be careful that we are not building this firewall with the virus still inside Singapore. 但是我们要很小心的是呢，我们不能够呢，就是建这个这个火墙，但是呢，病毒已经在里头了。Otherwise, we are trapping them inside Singapore forever. 那万不然的话呢，就是我们一直把这个病毒呢锁在封锁在新加坡里头了。We need to get them out before we build the firewall. 我们需要把病毒呢，能够除掉之后呢，然后才把这个火墙建立起来。Prayer item number six. 第六个祷告事项。The Lord as King must be enthroned over the land. 我们的主，我们的王，他必定要被拥立做王，在荣登宝座。Prayer item number seven. 然后的第七个祷告事项。All this is so that that this can happen. 那这一切的祷告呢，就是要达到这个终点了。So that the nation of Singapore can come into the fullness of a God-given destiny， 使到新加坡能够进入神为我们设定的命定。Singapore as the Antioch of Asia, we have only seen the tip of the iceberg。新加坡是亚洲的安提阿，我们只不过看到呢，就是整个雪山的那一点点而已。What we as the Antioch of Asia can be can become. What we have seen in the past is only the tip of the iceberg. 
。那我们过去所看到、所见证呢，真的是整个大冰块当中的最顶端一点点而已。There is so much more that needs to be discovered, realized, and discharged. 真的有更多更多的是我们需要去发展的，我们需要去发挥、去明白的，并且呢，去运作出来的。But that can only happen when we come together at the place of prayer. 那要这样的事发生的话呢，唯有是我们能够同心的来一起的祷告。When we read Acts chapter thirteen and verse one and two， 当我们读到《使徒行传》第十三章第一跟第二节的时候 ，What brought about the magic of Saul and Barnabas going out for mission was that they were ministering to the Lord。那什么什么事情呢，使到巴拿巴跟保罗能够被差遣出去呢？重点是当时呢，教会是一起的在那边敬拜服侍神。So when you read Acts thirteen verses one and two, you discover that the church in Antioch was ministering to the Lord, and the Spirit came, and then He did the rest. 那所以呢，当你读到使徒行传第十三章第一、第二节的时候，当时呢，整个教会在敬拜、在服侍神，然后圣灵降临在当中的时候呢，圣灵就成就其他的事情了。So this is where we need to come together as she two four seven is dwelling place to minister before the Lord. To minister 所以呢，我们 S S G 二十七，我们就是必须要合一的聚集在一起，在主的面前来敬拜他。As I bring you to the last slide, 我们再看接下来的那这一张。A timely reminder to all of us. 这个是我们需要的一个很及时的一个呃呃提醒。God is always willing to inhabit the praises of His people. 那神呢，永远呢，他都乐意在他子民的赞美当中，他要登宝座的。That's the only thing that brings Him to us. 这个是唯一把它带到我们当中的方式。And that's the one thing that we are called to do at SG two four seven is dwelling place. 那这呢也是唯一一件事情，神呼召我们在 SG 二四七所要做的事。Thank you very much for allowing me and my brother to speak to you. Over to you. Oh yeah. Yeah. 谢谢大家。Thank you, brother. Amen. 好，非常感谢这个。嗯、呃，旧吉牧师的分享也谢谢这个啊、呃，曹英姐妹的这样子的一个啊、呃、带领的，呃、这这这八九天对我们来讲是很大的帮助。So therefore, I just like to thank Pastor Jojo for his teaching. I also like to thank Sister Cao Yuan for her for her sharing. These eight to nine days have really been a very great help. 我祷告之前，我仍然要有五分钟的分享。And so therefore, before I pray, I'd like to have about five minutes of sharing. OK， 在整个的这个神的国度里面，有一种叫做循环，或者是一种细拉的时间。In God's kingdom, there is a kind of a a a cycle, like a virtuous cycle. 嗯，因为呢，二零零一年的时候，啊，就在这个九幺幺之后呢，呃，戴冕恩到了呃。就 convocation 的里面遇见了我们台湾的周牧师。And so in two zero zero one after the nine eleven incident， 就是 David Damian 是吗？嗯、um, ，对，周周神周牧师遇见 David Damian。Yeah. So David Damian went to Jerusalem and he met with Pastor Nathaniel Chow。然后因为这缘故呢，他就被邀请来到了台湾。那么在二零零一年的十一月二号，当他来到台湾的时候呢，那么。他来到台湾分享的时候呢，神给他一个呼召，要他委身给华人。And so, because of that meeting, David was invited to Taiwan. He came to Taiwan in December two zero zero one, and during that time in Taiwan, he received a call to commit himself to the Chinese. 当时他是很不愿意的啊，那细节我就聊过去。但是上帝告诉他说，你关心你的本国。埃及，有一天我会透过华人把你带回埃及。And so at first he was not very, he was not willing at all to do that. But God told him that yes, you care about your home country, Egypt. One day I will use the Chinese to be able to bring you back to Egypt. 其实这所有的这些事情
都跟戴米伦牧师以以及 George Anadorai 牧师是非常有关系的。So in fact, all of these happenings have got a lot to do with David Damian as well as with Pastor George. 两千零四年的时候，金门的会议在新加坡举行，在三月份在新加坡举行。金门的会议吗 ？Yeah, yeah. Golden,、啊 oh, Golden Gate Convocation in, in, 在、oh, 在新加坡举行。In two zero zero four in March, there was a Golden Gate Convocation Convocation that was held. 在那场聚会的里面，我读到了这个，就是啊、呃，这个 John Mulvaney 的信息。他说，每一个人的命定都是跟国家的命定连接在一起，但以色列握有万国进入命定的钥匙。嗯、mm. ，And so during that Golden Gate Convocation, I heard from John Mulvaney， 是吗？你是说 ？Yeah，John Mulvaney，John Mulvaney，Yeah，Yeah，John Mulvaney。John Mulvaney. I heard from John Mulvaney, who said that a person's destiny is intimately tied with a nation's destiny, but Israel holds the gates and the keys to the nations. So, I, 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 I then began to attend the All Nations Convocation organized by Tom Hess in Jerusalem. When I arrived in 2004, when I arrived in Jerusalem, 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 And then, so when I attended、um, that two zero zero four September All Nations Convocation, then at that time,、uh, George Anna Durai and Michael Melio shared about Isaiah twenty four. So I very clearly know that God gave the Chinese, especially our Northern Territory, from Taiwan to Taiwan, all the way up to including. 像中南半岛啦，包括新加坡、马来西亚、印尼啊这些的海岛，有一个回耶路撒冷的一个护照。So I knew then that there was actually a call to all the nations from Taiwan all the way, for example, through Southeast Asia and so on, all the nations that there was a call upon the island nations. OK， 好，那我有提到，哎，当我得到这个祝福之后呢，我就马上把这个。Convocation 的这样子一个 pattern， 就拿到香港啊，我们在香港举办一个第一次的华人的祷告盛会。二零零五年，我们举办华人祷告盛会。And then, so when I received this blessing of a convocation, I then brought it to Hong Kong, and in Hong Kong, we had the first Chinese convocation in two zero zero five. 在那场聚会的里面，当然我们就把这些包括在耶路撒冷的讲员，也包括。呃，就吉牧师，包括戴明和牧师都邀请去了。然后，二零零六年办的第二届。So in two zero zero six, we had many of the speakers from the All Nations Convocation, uh, including Pastor George, uh, uh, and so on, who also spoke at the two zero zero five convocation. And then two zero zero six, we convened the second convocation. 中国大陆出来非常多的基督徒，百分之七十以上。大概那时候我们办一场聚会，大概一千七百人。百分之七十以上的人出都是大陆的弟兄姐妹出来，在那次聚会促成了这整个 Home Coming 的一个开始的一个运动。And then at the two zero six six convocation, there were about thousand seven hundred people who attended, seventy percent of which came from China, and that was then the the establishment of the Home Coming. <coughs> 然后呢？这个红康林运动一直到达了二零一八年的时候，在三月份的时候呢，啊，这个就在戴冕恩牧师离开了埃及啊，我记得是超过了，嗯，可能是超二零一八年离开埃及三十多年之后呢，他第一次回到埃及，跟着中国的教会回去参加这个埃及的一场聚会。
And so this homecoming journey actually lasted uh, all the way to 2018 March. And then what happened in 2018 was that David Damien, who had left Egypt for 30 odd years, managed to return to Egypt together with the Chinese delegation. Nazi 在埃及举行。And then so in 2018 December, there was a meeting of over of several thousand people comprising homecoming, uh, those in the homecoming uh, movement uh, from various parts of the world, including some Asianic Jews, Chinese, and so on. 同样,所以神应许让这个代名的牧师透过这整个华人完成上帝给他的呼召, 这样的一个cycle,这样的神机太惊人了。然后你了解那个Asher,Asher跟这个Samuel,就是埃及的这样的一个牧师,他们彼此的波饼,洗脚一起的这样的祷告,那个实在是太感动了,上帝做奇妙
<laughs> what would you doubt to say shooting off? Wow. <laughs> you know, and, and so therefore the seed that Pastor, that Pastor George planted in Taiwan, in a sense, you know, um, just uh, uh, grew into a unity movement and the homecoming movement included. And then so you can find that it was God who brought about this kind of virtuous cycle. It was a cycle. And then today, now at the right time and at the right place, we find that we have come back full cycle. And so also thank you, Stephanie, that she married a Singaporean, and so therefore she was able to stir up the waters of Singapore. But the most important thing is that the timing for Singapore, the time for Singapore has come. George 非常孤单的要拉着整个新加坡的命令，但现在你看到整个团队现在已经成型了。And then so, you know, before you can, uh, uh, Pastor George Anna Durai was very much like a prophetic apostle, and he was very much alone. But nowadays, you find there's already a group of these prophetic apostles which have already been formed, comprising Reverend William So, comprising Pastor Song Ming Liang. So there's a group of them have already been formed. So, therefore, I want to testify and I want to declare that it is time for Singapore to enter into her destiny. Singapore, 新加坡的一小步是我们这整个亚洲的一大步。And so therefore Singapore, you know, your entering into destiny is not only for yourself, but, for, but it will also be for Southeast Asia and the Golden Gate nations. The small step that you make is actually a big step for these other nations. 每一个国家都需要持续有改革者兴起,如同马加比的勇士一样。Every country needs to have a have have these reformers time again, time and time again, just like the Maccabees. 每一个国家都需要有这个整个的他们的智库或研究院来规划这个国家未来的发展如何，这个政府要做这个工作。and so every nation also needs to have like a research institution that can then plan regarding the future and the development of the future. 如果这个国家的这些的政府没有这样子的研究，没有这样的智库，没有这样子的发展的话，这个国家的经济就一定会衰退，这个国家就会啊，这个嗯，这它的它的这整个的呃产业就会落后，以至于国家进入贫穷，
它带给世界各国有非常多的祸害，因为美国的教会没有起来就为 e g l e s i a 以至于黑暗的国度就把透过美国把这文化给给我们。Even though the U.S. is a great missionary country, but however, because the ecclesia, the church, has not actually Taken up its correct position, and so therefore it's allowed the forces of darkness to take over culture, and therefore has brought in many ways destruction to the to the world, including in terms of abortion, homosexuality, and so on. Today, the same thing is happening in Korea. Korea, such a country, its Christian church is so much hope. It has reached over 30%. It is now over 20%. It looks like it has a very strong influence. 呃，有基督化的这个很强烈的国家，但是因为他们没有 Agnesia 的缘故，所以呢，韩流、韩剧所带给全世界的影响力，它影响了我们的文化，影响了我们的年轻人，而胜过教会所带给我们的祝福。And the same is same is happening also with Korea. Even though the church in Korea is very strong, the percentage of Christians in Korea used to be about thirty percent, is now twenty percent. But because of the fact that the, that in in Korea there is there is actually not a strong ecclesia, so therefore we find that Korean culture actually has permeated many parts of the world, including Korean movies and so on and so forth. And so that actually has brought about a greater negative influence rather than the blessing. Of Christianity from Korea, so because this is a wake up call, all these Western countries, they see that this chance, this opportunity is now in the Middle East, now in the Golden Gate of these Middle East countries. These Western countries are willing to unite together. If we can change our land, we can change our land, we can change our government, we can change our next generation, we can change our next generation. These Western countries need to have a wake up call to change their mind. 像当年的李光耀带领这个这个新加坡建立这个国家一样，只是现在需要有新一批的改革者、新一批的建国者来使这个国家继续的站立在神的面前。And so now the hope is in Asia, in the Golden Gate nations. The hope is that in the Golden Gate nations, when there is unity, then you find that there is transformation. And therefore, these nations also need the reformers to arise, just like a reformers, just like the former Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. So now we also need a new generation of reformers to arise. Amos 是说，是先知领以色列出埃及。但是也必须有先知来保存以色列。So a prophet led Israel out of Egypt, but you also need a prophet to protect Israel. 哇！所以我奉主的名字主啊，我宣告主啊，新加坡从呃从现在的开始进入命定的里面，这透过大卫化为会幕所点燃的这样的一个火焰，哦，主啊。是带来整个的亚洲要一起的共同进入命定。And so, therefore, I want to declare that Singapore will enter into its destiny with the setting up of the Tabernacle of David and the fire that the Tabernacle of David brings, and because of it, that the whole of Asia will also enter into its destiny. 我们过去在二十年的时间是属于秦与金香炉的时代，那是在这个启示录第四章第五章所谈到的这样子的一个时代。现在我们要进入到一个所谓的这个火与雷的火，所火与雷轰的这样的一个时代，叫 fire and t h u n d e r 的一个日子，是记载在启示录第八章里面所谈到的。当我们的祷告上去之后，圣灵的火和雷声就降下来，来到他的教会，来到他的 Ecclesia 里面。So previously we were in an era of the harp and bowl era of Revelation four, but now we are going into the Revelation eight era of the fire and of the thunder, the fire and the thunder which will come upon the ecclesia. 我祝福这整个新加坡，当你们这二十七点燃了之后呢，在属灵的领域的里面，你们会就是成为在这属灵的当中是一个快速前进的一个国家。整个新加坡会被翻转过来，整个的社会会被改变过来，许多的使徒性的职场的人都使徒性的这个的呃
marketplace 的 apostle 这个职场的使徒要兴起，而带来的不只是新加坡的改变，带来是整个亚洲快速的向前进。And so therefore, I want to bless. Uh, Singapore to say that when the twenty four by seven is established, that Singapore will un will experience accelerated transformation, and particularly the, in the marketplace, that marketplace apostles will arise. And when these marketplace、uh, apostles arise, they will bring about transformation not only in Singapore but also in Asia. So today evening, I also want to pray for the comfort of Pastor George Moses. 让他这十几年来，他心中的这个痛，他要得着安慰，他要看见到啊，在过去他所没有乳养的这些孩子们，现在都一起归回了。这些，这你会看到这整个的这个收成，这个他根本没有想过的这个撒的种子，现在已经遍满了全地。我们为神赐纠结牧师来到我们的中间，这样的一个使徒，我们来为他来献上感谢。And so I just want to thank God for Pastor George. I want to also say that that God will just comfort Pastor George for the pain that he has experienced before in the past. Also, that he will that the the children that he has nurtured will then be will actually have come into adulthood, and that there's a harvest of the seeds that he has sown throughout the world. When the Great Wall of China is again built, it will be to make Israel the land. 以东所余剩的和所有称为主名下的国。And then, so when the tabernacle of David is set up, uh, that 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 the that the Edom will actually come back. 有主称为主名下的国也要被得着。And that the people, uh, 这个是 Amos eleven 是吗？这阿摩斯书九章十一节对，得到主名下的国都要得着。Yeah. And then, so in Amos nine eleven, it states that in in、yeah. that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations who are called by my name, declares the Lord who does this. 而且耕种的接续，收割的菜谱的接续，撒种的神要把过去被男子剪从马杂黄虫所吃掉的、所延误的、加倍的还给我们。And it says that. The plowman shall overtake the reaper, the treader of grapes, him who sows seeds, and God will recompense the years that the locusts have eaten. History 上会证明，人们第一次看见到整个的天国的运动是在整个的亚洲点燃成像一个网络一样，是成为一个联合的属灵国度呈现在神的面前，一起的呼喊，荣耀的君王，我们愿你来。So we can say, you know, that through, that in Asia, throughout Asia, there will actually be just this network of of nations, and that these network of nations will then respond to the call of God. 感谢主，新加坡进入命定，亚洲也进入命定了。Thank you that as Singapore enters into its, into her destiny, Asia will also enter into her destiny. 奉耶稣的名字祝福，阿门。Yes, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 谢谢，谢谢张长老。Thank, Thank you, you brother.、Much. Thank you very much. Thank、Amen. you very much, Pastor George. Do you want to just say a few words in response? Uh, uh, no, no. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, so thank you very much. And so now we'd like to show the video blessings from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. Now we're going to play the video from the nations. I send my love to Pastor Song, Pastor George Anadori,、uh, as they're beginning and launching 24/7. We know that the pattern of heaven is 24/7. From heaven, it has never stopped since the ascension of Yeshua when he was crowned king in Jerusalem. He's never stopped. It never stopped 24/7. Here in Jehovah's Witness, we've never stopped 24/7 from 35 years. And we just want to bless you with the anointing, a double portion of the anointing. I bless you in my jubilee year of ministry for a double portion anointing to build from the pattern of heaven, the pattern of Moses, the pattern of King David, twenty four seven. And we pray that this will begin as twenty four seven. And we look forward to when we see all of you in Jerusalem for the All Nations Convocation in September. We believe that there will be a very strong. 
functioning in Singapore to stand with Israel as the Antioch of Asia, to stand in the gap for Asia, to stand for the Isaiah 20, 42 revival, to stand for the Ishmael revival, uh, which is <clears throat> coming from uh, Indonesia, is the, uh, the, the barrel, uh, Malaysia is the trigger, and Singapore is the cock. And so we believe for the breakthrough from the ends of the earth through Singapore, back to Jerusalem. God bless you, and we bless you and congratulate you on the launch of this 24-7. And we know that he that began a good work, we believe that he will continue it, and this will continue 24-7 until Yeshua comes back to put his feet on the Mount of Olives here in Jerusalem, the place of his throne. We bless you, and we love you, from the city of the great king. Shalom. Shalom. 这是耶路撒冷万国祷告殿的同台牧师的祝福耶路撒冷就是大君王的城市向你们问安问宗师还有罗奇牧师安愿慈爱领导你们二四七是天上的模式的样式不间断的敬拜祷告所以不间断的
understand uh, the meaning, the power, the significance, the anointing, and just the impact of the tabernacle of David. And so we're very, very excited about that. Uh, three, also I want to say thank you, George, uh, Papa George. Uh, you were the first one to declare the tabernacle of David in Jerusalem during your nation convocation many years ago. I remember listening to you, you declare that the tabernacle of David is the greatest and the last project of God that's going to go on eternally. Uh, but uh, you simply summarize that the tabernacle of David is one worship around the throne room of God or around the throne of God. Number two, worship around uh, the clock 24-7. And then number three, worship around the world. Every nation should be part of this project. And we really believe this is how God is going to invade the planet Earth. The last invasion of the glory of the Lord is worship and the glory of God. So those dynamics of the glory and worship, they respond to one another and they encourage one another. And it was King David who first uh, started this for us. We saw the model that King David, he was the first one to welcome the King of Glory, to welcome the glory of the Father, the Shekinah glory, the manifest presence of God into Jerusalem and make the glory of the Lord the center of his capital in Jerusalem and the uh, center for his nation. And then, as we know, we ordered everyone in the nation to worship God 24-7. Uh, and I believe that's the model for us today. Uh, now that the, the Lord is pouring out His glory all over the world, the glory of the Lord is increasing, and it, it will be it's our responsibility to respond. As nation, one, we need to officially welcome the glory of the Father into our nation, or welcome Jesus as the glory, the King of glory into our nation, and then two, set up a 24-7 house of worship, just as King David did. And I think we need to distinguish our house of prayer from a house of worship. Uh, TOD, uh, we believe, is purely for worship. Uh, and then the last thing I want to share is that uh, in 2012, during the Second World Prayer Assembly in Jakarta, Indonesia, uh, Michael Maleau, who was our, who was our leading prophet uh, from the Pacific, was there. And the Lord gave him a very interesting word. The word is that the glory of the Lord is, you know, God's going to pour out the glory of the Lord uh, as, as a new wine on, on to the planet Earth. And we need new wineskin to contain uh, the new wine. And so, and the Lord said that everything that we, the church, are doing is all wineskin. And so, I believe we have no choice but to move now and embrace the new wineskin to contain the glory of the Lord. And, and the number one of that list, whatever the new wineskins are, the number one of that list should be the Tabernacle of David. The Tabernacle of David. That was 2012. This is nine years this year. Number nine is for birth. And I believe Singapore, you're birthing something, not just for Asia, but for the whole world. And we're very touched just thinking of that. And so may the Lord bless you as you do this, not just for Singapore, not just for Asia, for the world, we the Pacific are standing with you uh, for the glory of God in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank你们问安。首先向你们问安。第二，恭喜George牧师和新加坡得以启动二四七的祷告。我们明白大卫帐幕的意义，知道这项目的重要性和影响力。第三，我们感谢George牧师在多年前。在耶路撒冷大会中宣告大卫的帐幕是最重要的建造是最永恒的建造 把这神的荣耀迎进耶路撒冷的人, 大卫帐幕是敬拜祷告的帐幕 
，在二零幺二年在耶加达的大会当中，有来自太平洋群岛的先知预言说，神荣耀临到，向新酒倒下，所以需要有新的皮带。目前教会的操作都是旧的皮带，因此我们没有别的选择，我们只能够拥护新皮带。首先就是有大卫帐幕的敬拜赞美，这事情已经过了九年了。九是生产的数目，我们深信新加坡正在生出一个为列国的二四七，我们很感，我们很深深的感动，因为你们此行不只是为新加坡，不只是为亚洲，而是为列国，所以我们这群岛的人支持你们，为这神荣耀的缘故，阿门。我们感谢神。Amen. Those are wonderful videos of blessing from the leaders of the various、uh, nations. So, Brother James, can you please bless us?、Uh, yes. 好，雅各牧师啊，呃，终于可以上线了。我们请他来为我们祝福。We thank God for His dwelling place. 感谢神，他赐下他的居所。And I believe the Lord has found a tabernacle. Can you say that again, please? The Lord has found a tabernacle. 神已经找到他的居所，他的帐幕。And I thank God for this twenty-four-seven. 感谢神能够有二十四七的祷告。I believe the angel of the Lord is present. 我相信神的同在，他的手。I pray that the eye of the Lord will be upon the twenty-four-seven. 求神的眼目看顾这二十四七。I pray that the Lord God Almighty, His ear will be attentive to every prayer. 求神来垂听每一个所发出的祷告。In the mighty name of Jesus. 奉主耶稣大能的名。May the twenty-four-seven be beautiful before the Lord. 但愿这二十七在神的面前成为美好。May the Lord Himself show Himself mighty. 求神亲自的在当中显大能。I pray that the glory of the Lord shall abide. 求神的荣耀逗留在其中。The glory of the Lord shall abide. 的神的荣耀要停留在当中。The glory of the Lord God Almighty abide on the twenty-four-seven. 愿神荣耀停留在这二十七。I pray that the Lord Himself, His mighty hand will be upon the twenty-four-seven. 求神大能的手就临到这二四七。Father, I bless everyone that will participate. 天父，我要奉主的名祝福凡是参与的人。As they minister to you, 让他们服侍你。Let their houses, let their homes be full of your goodness. Let your peace rest upon them. 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 Let your peace rest And Lord, let your light shine. 让你的光照耀。Singapore, let your light shine. 新加坡，让你的光照耀。Arise. 兴起。Arise. 兴起。Arise. 兴起。And let the Lord be glorified. 让神被得荣耀。Let the knowledge of the glory of God fill the nation like water in the sea. 让认识耶和华的知识充满，像大呃水充满海洋一样。Father, I ask you adorn your people with your beauty. 主啊，请你亲自的，主啊，用你的华美来为你的子民啊装饰。Adorn, adorn them with the splendor of your goodness. 主啊，用你的良善来充满他们。As we learn to minister to you around the clock, oh, 当我们不间断的来服侍你。As we minister to you around the day, 让我们日日夜夜的服侍你。Let the 
let the river of life flow from your throne to the land. 主，让你宝座的河流来呃涌向这个土地。Father, you who has begun this work, you shall accomplish it. 主，你启动了这个工作，你必然完成它。And I declare the work a blessing. 主啊，愿你的祝福临到。Let 24/7 be a blessing to Singapore. 让这二十七成为新加坡的祝福。A blessing to Israel. 成为以色列的祝福。And a blessing to the entire world. 成为列国全地的祝福。In Jesus' name. 奉耶稣的名祷告。Amen. Great, and so now I'd like to ask the four spiritual fathers to each give just a few words of thanksgiving or blessing.、Uh, Reverend James Lee, please. 那我们请四位啊父老可以表达一下。好，我们非常的呃兴奋，呃非常的感恩。So we are very excited. We are also very grateful. 我们呃感谢天父这么的宠爱我们，拣选了他自己的。孩子们能够参与这样的一个机会，恩典中来侍奉神。And so, therefore, we just want to thank Father God for having chosen us, so that we can actually uh, uh, attend or participate in this event. 尤其是这几天听到 George、uh, 分享过去的历史 ，and especially hearing Pastor George share about the history of the, the history. 把我带到我的起初跟神的那种初恋，好像初恋一样的那种的经历。And it all like it brought me back to my experience of my first love with the Lord. 那时候我跟宋敏良牧师，我们呃在一起都是年轻。Oh, at that time, uh, <laughs> myself and Pastor Song, we were young at that time. 我们的好多好多的回忆。And so there are very many precious memories. 真的是那时候看到神的恩典恩手在新加坡。And then so at that time, we really saw the grace of God upon Singapore. 我们那时候所做的，不是领受人的吩咐，而是的带着一个享受神给我们的恩典的侍奉。And then so we really just enjoyed, you know, the grace of God, and and we 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 served Him. 我们从来没有讲到说会有一种疲倦、想要放弃的那种的念头。Yeah, we never thought, you know, that we were tired and that we wanted to give up. 我在讲的时候，可能宋明良牧师会想起我们那一段的时间，从早上到晚上。And so maybe you know, Pastor Song can remember those times from morning till night. 我突然间觉得说，这是时候了，弟兄弟妹们。And so this is the time. The time has come, brothers and sisters. 谢谢我们的团队们给我们这样的一个机会，重回整个的团队。嗯。And this is the time, you know, for us to have this kind of um uh unity again. 所以我在呼吁。我们在二四七的，我们的弟兄姐妹们，我们不是领受人的吩咐，我们乃是享受神给我们的侍奉的恩典。And so those who are participating in the twenty-four by seven, this is not because of man, but it's because we enjoy God's grace. 我对数目字非常有兴趣，刚才就如多所说的。And so therefore, you know, I was, I'll be very interested. I was, I was very interested in what Pastor George said. 我所说的五十六岁，五十六的时候。我五十六的时候就把这个主任牧师交棒了，进入的职场的侍奉。Oh, and then so when I was fifty-six years old, actually at that time, I then in a sense gave up、um, my pastoring to enter into the marketplace. 嗯，而且呢，我很喜欢二四七这个数目字。And so I also like two four seven this number. 特别我是喜欢的是四二七，不是二四七。And I particularly like. Four two seven, not two four seven. That's the Ephesians 说的第四章二十七节 Oh, it is because of Ephesians four verse twenty seven. 那时候我在呃培训学生的时候，我都说我们是属于部队四二七部队的，我们是属于 four two seven 的 platoon. And then so we would therefore say that we were actually uh four two seven platoon. 那个是什么呢？就是不要给魔鬼留地步。<laughs> and it says, yeah, and give no opportunity to the devil. So, we are twenty-four. Brothers and sisters, let us not give way to the devil. Because we are part of the four-two-seven platoon. 
<laughs> and so therefore, 247 brothers and sisters, let's not give any opportunity to the devil, give no opportunity to the devil because we are actually the 427 troops. And so therefore, just say that you actually belong to the 427 troops. Mm. And so therefore, we will give no opportunity to the devil. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Reverend James. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask Reverend William So to say a few words. Mm, I have I pastored for 28 years. 我很努力地侍奉主, and so I diligently served the Lord. 在这过程里面, 我确实, and so, but in this process, I had a desire. 期待上帝来同在, and that is for the presence of God. So I was in this. 二零二二零二零一零年，我开始加入回家的团队。and so therefore, in the year 2010, I then began entered the homecoming family. 我我就是因为渴望神的同在，我就跟回家走在一起。and so it was because I really desired the presence of God. So therefore, I joined myself with the homecoming group. 我, 我也参与中国的宣教, and I also was involved in missions in China. And in China, I was, I was there for uh, nearly 20 years. 我, 我, and yet, I still didn't feel satisfied. 我后来我就在这个二零一三一三年的时候，我辞职，辞掉主任牧师的这个角色。And then in the year 2013, I then left my role as senior pastor. 我就专心做中国和中东的宣教。And then so I focused on missions in China as well as in the Middle East. 就是回到耶路撒冷的整个的事工。And that is the ministry of Back to Jerusalem. 我以为这是我一生要做的事了。And I thought that that was actually going to be what I was going to do for the rest of my life. 但是没有想到，二零一七年，我动了一个小手术，中风，在医院昏迷了一个月。And so therefore, in 2017, actually, I went through a little operation and I had a stroke, and I was in hospital in coma for one month. 我神把我拯救出来。And then God saved me. 我。and then so in many ways it was like as if I resurrected, I revived. And then there was one whole year, one whole year of physical restoration. And then so every time when I met the doctor, I would ask him, when can I fly again? So the doctor would ask me, where do you want to go? 我说我要去中国, 要去阿富汗, and, so I said, uh, and so I said, I want to go to China, I want to go to Afghanistan, I want to go to Iran. 医生说, 他说不可以了, and so the doctor said, no, you can't do that. The furthest you can go is actually Hong Kong and Shanghai. 哪里知道, 我每一次问, 问, 问到最后, and then so after a while, I just asked and asked, there's no need to ask anymore. Because COVID came. <laughs> and then so, you know, everybody in the world also could not fly. 我也发觉我, 
我留在新加坡做什么 ？And then so you know, I said to myself, why was I in Singapore for? 所以我很同意乔治牧师的分享。我是被这个是这个啊、呃、军队叫回来的。So therefore, I agree with past, past, Pastor George said that I have been recalled. I did not think that I would actually come back to Singapore. So in the conversation of Pastor George, I began to understand something. And then when Pastor George shared, I then began to understand something. 神要我好像尼西米一样回来重建城墙。And that is that God wanted me like Nehemiah to come back and to rebuild the wall. 我才开始确定神给我的身份。And then I began to be affirmed regarding God's a a position for me. I don't know. 所以我很高兴，我能够回到新加坡。我其实以前从来没有想过。新加坡，我只想到中国中东，没有想过新加坡。So I'm very happy to be back in Singapore. Before I'd always thought of China, I've thought of Middle East, I never thought of Singapore. 神叫我回来重建这个我的家乡的城墙。And so God called me back in order to rebuild my home country's wall. 我很高兴能够跟大家一起来重建城墙。So I'm very happy to be with everybody to be able to rebuild this wall. 而且不是我一个人，是我们一个团队，我们大家一起来重建这个城墙。And it is not only me; it is a team. Together, we are rebuilding the wall. 我们真的是在重建大卫倒塌的帐幕。And indeed, we are rebuilding the tabernacle of David. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend So. Ah, So Mr. Yeah, because 上帝会喜悦我们的二十四小时七天的敬拜 May God be pleased with our twenty-four-seven worship. 愿上帝赐福给每一位愿意参与的弟兄姐妹们 May God bless everyone who is willing to participate. 愿他的国降临，愿他的旨意成就。May His kingdom come. May His will be done. 嗯。Amen. Amen. 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 Stephanie, 你要说几句吗 ？Oh, Stephanie, I think can can you please unmute her? Make her co-host. 嗯，那我呃有一句经文要祝福新加坡，在诗篇第四十六篇。So there is a verse that I just want to bless Singapore with, and it's in Psalm forty-six. Ah, 有一道河，这河的分叉使神的城欢喜。嗯 ，Reading from verse four, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Ah, 这城就是新加坡，是至高者居住的圣所。And this city is Singapore. It is the holy habitation of the Most High. 神在其中，新加坡必不动摇。God is in the midst of her. Singapore shall not be moved. 到天一亮，神必帮助新加坡。God will help Singapore when morning dawns. 嗯、mm. yeah. ，God bless. Amen. 谢谢你 ，Stephanie.、Mm. And so now I'd like to call upon Pastor George to say a few words and to declare that Singapore twenty four seven, his dwelling place is open. Pastor George,、mm. please. Thank you once again, family. 谢谢各位家人 As we come before you in in humility, 呃、uh, ，我们是带着谦卑的在你的面前 We are spiritual fathers coming from the Merdeka generation. We are really glad and grateful to the Lord our Father for giving us a second chance. 我们来自这个呃。Uh, 就是这这个建建国的这个啊，建国的这个团队啊，这个世纪的团队的啊，我们很感恩，因为神把我们带到今天这样的一个地步。And the second chance is really to finish what we started. 
那、呃、这第二个机会呢，真的是要完成我们过去开始的工作。Like what it says in Philippians chapter one and verse six, that God is a God who finishes what He starts. 那就像菲利比书第一章第六节所讲的，神所开始的工作，那他必定会完成的。So as we come before you as spiritual fathers、uh, of the Merdeka generation, that's the prayer that we ask of you to be extended towards us. 那所以呢，我们这立国一代的呃属灵的呃父老，我们的也要求你们就是这样的为我们来祷告。That God will grant us the grace to finish what we started. 愿神赐给我们恩惠，叫我们能够完成我们过去开始的工作。And it'll be entirely appropriate for me at this point in time to thank God for the fathers that have God before us. 那我们我在这个时刻，我觉得也很恰当的是，也要为着我们的前辈们，已经过去的前辈们，呃，为所以为着他们而献上感恩。It was Sir Isaac Newton who once said. That if we are able to see much farther, that's because we are standing on the shoulders of those who have gone behind us. Now, Newton, Newton, 呢，他曾经说这句话，就是我们现在能够看得更远，那是因为我们现在是他在前人的肩膀上来看这前方的。Likewise, we are here today because of the fathers that have gone before us. 那同样的，我们今天能够在这个地步呢。是因为我们前辈已经先走了这条道路。There are so many who have gone before us. 真的，在我们前头走过的人士呢，是那么多。Who have given us a rich legacy as the Antioch of Asia. 他们所给我们的是一个非常丰富的传承，也就是亚洲的安提阿。But given the shortness of time, I would like to honor two fathers who are no longer with us. 那在这一个，因为时间的关系呢，我只需要特别提两位已经过世的呃两位前辈。Father number one, brother Go Yu King. 第一位呢是吴有庆长老。Go Yu King is the one who received the mantle from Dr. Billy Graham as he was chairing the E Force meeting on December 6, 1978 at Bible House. 那在呃九呃十二月六号九呃一九七八年呢，在圣经公会，吴长老呢，他就是从葛培礼牧师那边得着，就是领受我们的这个呃阿、啊、亚洲安提阿的呃意向。He was the one who received that mantle as Dr. Billy Graham spoke those words of destiny over Singapore. 所以，当葛培礼呢，他这样的宣告这个命定的话语，向新加坡宣告的时候，是吴长老他领受了这一份的命令。And looking at the life of this father, brother Go Yu King, his life, his legacy was only one thing. 那我们回顾我们的吴长老他的一生，他的命，他他这一生所做的呢，就是唯有一件事情。His legacy was unity. 他的传承呢是合一。He was the one man, the only man. When he invited the churches to come together, they would come without questioning. 那他是当时呢唯一一个，他邀请各教会的领袖在场的时候呢，他们都会来，而且不质问的，他们都来出席。And then the second spiritual father I like to acknowledge is Reverend Rick Seward. 然后第二个这个属灵的父老呢，就是。Rick Seward, 牧师 Rick Seward belongs to the Maradeka generation. Rick Seward, 他也是属于立国一代的 While Brother Go Yu King received the mandate of the Antioch of Asia, the man who gave a face to the Antioch of Asia was Reverend Rick Seward. 那吴友庆长老呢？他领受了这个命令，然后呢 ，Pastor Rick Seward 呢？他是那个真实的实践出来的那一个人。His legacy was missions. 他所传给我们的是宣教 And so we, as spiritual fathers, as we come before you, we ask of you to、uh, pray for us that we will travel between these two tracks of unity and missions and allow the dreams of our fathers to come to pass in our day and time. 所以呢，我呼吁大家呢，为着我们、你们的属灵的父老来祷告，让我们能够走在这个双轨的里面。一呢是合一，另外一个是宣教。
让我们能够把前辈们他们的意向、他们的负担，能够在这个时代实现出来。Unity missions， 合一还有宣教。And as we bring the presence of God into the city， 让我们邀请神的同在进入到这城市的时候 ，we will see unity within。我们要看到里面是有合一的 ，and missions without。然后向外呢是宣教。So with that, allow me to declare、uh, what the Lord has laid upon my heart at this moment. 那现在呢，让我把神放在我心中的负担，我要分享出来。Thank you, everyone, for making this day, this moment possible. 那谢谢各位，让我们能够成功的抵达今天这个时刻。I want to declare Isaiah chapter sixty verse eleven today. 我今天要宣告的是以赛亚书第六十章第十一节 Whereupon it says, "Your gate will always stand open; they will never be shut day or night." 啊，这里说到呢，你的门槛呢是必一定要继续的开着的，昼夜都不关。Allow me to repeat that again. Your gates will always stand open; they will never be shut day or night. 你的城门必时常开放，昼夜不关。So join me in prayer now, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We hereby declare that His dwelling place, SJ two four seven, is right now open, and for God's people to come to the open house any time from now. 那奉主耶稣、奉天父、奉主耶稣基督、奉圣灵神的名呢，我们宣告 S G 二四七，神的居所呢是开放的，让他让人群呢能够继续的涌进来。阿门，阿门，阿门。Thank you very much, spiritual fathers. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Pastor George, for declaring that the Singapore twenty four seven is open. You know, I'd like to say that. Indeed, by God's grace, that immediately after this, there is a watch that will that will that will start, and, and another watch that will start、Alleluia. after that.、Alleluia. And in fact, of the hundred and sixty watches, we have about seventy watches that are already filled, and、Amen. there are also some duplicates. Amen,、well. amen, amen. So we just want to give God the glory because this is really His doing. Hallelujah. And、yes. there are and there are more coming in.、Uh, even now, I'm, I'm sure that there are more coming in. 我我我们真的很感恩，就是因为呢，有一从在一百六十八个守望时刻里面，已经有差不多七十个守望的时间已经填满了。所以，而且呢，就是这个这个聚会完了以后，已经有呃一个守望是第一个守望团队，他们会开始祷告。我们感谢主。And so, just want to really thank the Lord, you know, for what He is doing. So, is 在感恩向神，因为他成就了这些事情，我们向神感恩。And so now, I'd like to invite Reverend James Lee to close us in prayer. 请李控牧师来做结束祷告。天父，我们来到你的施恩宝座前献上感谢的祭。Father God, we want to come before your throne of grace to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving. 保护我们听见神啊，你在天上的声音告诉我们说：“看啊，神的帐幕在人间。” And so God, we hear your voice in heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men." 你说你要在我们的当中与我们同住，与我们同在。You want to be with us. You want to live together with us. You want to be with us. 我们感到何等的感恩跟兴奋。And so we are just so excited and grateful for this. 我们就感谢你，按照你丰盛的荣耀，借助你的灵，使我们每一位能够心里面的力量刚强起来。And so, Lord, because of your glory, because of your Holy Spirit, we just thank you, O God, that we can be strengthened in our inner man. 我们向你祈求一件事。And so, Lord, we want to ask of you one thing. 在新加坡的这块土地上。That on this land, Singapore. 你所显召的，你所呼召的。我们所需要忠心的恩典，你赐给我们。That you grant us, O、oh、God, the the grace to be loyal. 好，让我们能够不断的在神啊建造会幕二十四期上面向你忠心到底。So that we can be loyal and faithful in terms of building the twenty four seven tabernacle of David. 
叫我们从个人神啊来敬畏你，我们的家人来敬畏你。最后，我们要看见你的荣耀要在新加坡显明。And that every one of us will experience you, our families will experience you, and that your glory will be manifest in Singapore. So we ask you, that King Wei Hua, let the glory of the Lord be manifest in our personal and individual lives. And the Lord, that your glorious and the Lord, that your glorious wisdom will be more and more manifest in each one of us. So let the glory of the Lord be manifest in our personal and individual lives. And the Lord, that your glorious wisdom will be more and more manifest in each one of us. So let the glory of the Lord be manifest in our personal And that there'll be more and more of your glorious wisdom in us. We are just waiting to see, to see, and 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 to see Because we know that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. 叫我们这里每一位守望者，主啊，我们的口中禁止我们的嘴不发任何的怨言。And so, Lord, for every watchman, O、oh、God, will you just guard our mouth so that we will not speak any words of complaining? 就是不断的来祝福我们的国家，祝福我们的家人。And instead, that we will just continually bless our country, bless our family members. 我们谢谢你的大爱。We thank you for your great love. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Reverend James. And so now the meeting has concluded. SG two four seven is now open. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Twenty-seven. 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 Twenty-seven